Sinhalese National Assembly has ordered a stop to the recruitment of 774,000 Nigerians under the Public Works Program until the modalities for the exercise have been explained to the lawmakers. It also mandated its committees on labor and employment to immediately invite the Minister of Labor, Chris Ingege, and any other relevant officials of the ministry to brief the Joint Committee on the modalities for the implementation of the engagement of 774,000 persons for public works in line with its constitutional oversight function. The lawmakers disclosed their stance through a joint statement by the spokespersons of the Senate and House of Representatives, Ajibola Basiru and Benjamin Kalu. This comes a day after an altercation between members of the Joint Committee and the Minister of State for Labor and Employment, Festus Keamu, over recruitment under the program. Joining us now is a political analyst, Umar Abdusalam, to take a look at this conversation. Good to have you, Abdusalam. Good morning. Thank you for joining us on the news. Now, a few months, a few months ago, this program was launched, and it was good to go. Um, what modalities are they now talking about? Which modalities are there? New modalities, so to speak, we are referring to here. Well, I, I think the modalities they are referring to is the um, recruitment process. Um, apparently, um, they are not satisfied with the with the committee that has been set up because going going by the news, we see that um, um, a twenty man committee has been set up, and then for each of the states, there is also another twenty man committee. So you are talking about uh, about um, for thirty six states, you have twenty um, people representing them to 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 do the recruitment process. That's about another seven hundred and twenty. Um, people that will be paid, you know, they have not told us how um, the payment is going to be made, how the um, committees were constituted and all. So I'm, I'm thinking that's the angle they are coming from. Yeah, but, but, the, but the question is, did they not foresee all of this before it was given approval? We're doing no, no mention of how this is supposed to be, you know, to run out. Why, 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 the, why the question, why all of this pressure uh, for it now? You know, when, when the um, committee um, had um, um, Festus Kayamo and the NDA director, you know, when, when a director is in charge of, uh, that's the NDA director now, he's supposed to be in charge of these things, and he, he doesn't have enough information, it opens you know, room for questions, because he had to direct the questions back to the Minister of State. And, you know, if, if you are facing a committee and you don't have answers to that, it shows that you are not prepared, you know, so I think that's, um, something else that, you know, sparked um, some red flags there for them. Mm. Mr. Abdul Salam, you know, the minister accused the lawmakers of wanting to sabotage the program. What's your thoughts on this? Um, you know, the thing goes both ways because they have also accused um, the minister of wanting to hijack the project. But I mean, um, he, he, the um, minister of state has come out to say um, the um, the, the National Assembly already has 15% of the um, recruitment given to them, you know. I mean, 15% already is about 160,000 or, or so, if you, if you calculate that. That's a lot for just National Assembly. That means they have their own people, they are going to place them. But he's now accusing them of wanting to have more numbers. You know, the problem with recruitment in Nigeria is transparency. Most of the time, you find out that um, recruitment have been done, you know, before the adverts have um, actually come out. I know that's what the problem we are having now mm. with this particular thing. You know, there's, they, we're, we're, we haven't seen enough transparency yet on both sides because before it's already started, just allotted 15% of the slot to National Assembly. You know, so where is the due process in that? Mm. You know? All right. Uh, unfortunately, that's all that we can take. Uh, Mr. Abdul Salam, thank you very much. We will watch and see how the events unfold. Please keep safe out there. Thank you. My pleasure.